Hello everyone, Prime here, and welcome to this brand new video. I hope that you're enjoying your Friday, because today we're going to be covering the Mayan Howler Monkey God, Hunbat, who is the god of many, many things. And we'll also be covering his story and facts about him. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, as that really does help this series out a lot. And without any further ado, let's get into it. So Hunbat is the son of Exquialo and Hunhunapu, the god of maize and is one of the monkey twins. His name means one monkey, and he is responsible for heroics. Rather, he is the god of heroics, with his twin brother, Chawen, meaning one artist. Hunbat is also considered to be the patron god of dance, arts, calculation, crafts, and music. The two are also noted to be talented scribes as well, and despite their appearance, their abilities in this regard were actually considered to be divine. The monkey brothers also quite important in Mayan culture, as any from sculptures to writers would typically offer a tribute or sacrifice to the brothers or honor them in some way before completing their work. But the twins were not always monkeys. As the son of Unhanabu and the stepbrothers of the hero twins, they looked just as human as any other god in the family. Until... Prior to the arrival of Shivalonke and Hunhunapu, the hero twins Hunbats and Hunchawan were always considered creative, artistic, and knowledgeable children. They excelled in every area of school until Hunhunapu introduced the brothers to football, which you might call soccer depending on where in the world you are. Homework was soon a thing of the past, and who needed school? The only thing that mattered to the brothers now was daily football practice. When their father journeyed to the underworld, Shivalba, only for Squeg to return in his stead, after countless moons, demanding a place to stay and clearly pregnant, the twins were not happy. Upon the birth of Shivalanke and his brother, the monkey twins, they understood that they would be surpassed immediately and so became motivated by anger and jealousy. Hunbats and Hunshawan first tried to kill the hero twins, but that failed, so instead they excluded Shibalanke and Hunapu from the family, denying them entry into their house whilst they themselves played the flutes or practiced some singing. When the hero twins are tasked to hunt game birds, the monkey things fiendishly steal the birds from their stepbrothers and deny them, the hero twins, any of the meal. In Mayan culture, the sharing of food is a strong sign of kinship and community. By denying the hero twins food, the monkey duo isn't just making things awkward, but also denying their stepbrothers entry into the family legitimately. Eventually, the hero twins complain about this, but ultimately end up having to deal with the issue themselves. The way in which they do this may vary a little depending on where you read the story, but the outcome is typically the same. The monkey twins, obsessed with football, would never play fairly against their step siblings, using every underhand move imaginable. The, hero, the monkey twins were lured into a particular tree as Shibalanki kept the ball in that direction after frustration due to the monkey twins' trickery. The twins were told that a juicy bounty of birds awaited them atop the tree, and so the monkey twins climbed and climbed but found no meal. As they did so, however, the tree grew taller, and the brothers could do no more than climb higher. Eventually, when the brothers expressed extreme concern, the hero twins instructed them to loosen their belts, which hung down behind them, transforming into tails. Shocked, the brothers could only wait as their bodies became more ape-like. In other versions of the story, the brothers would simply stop receiving hunting birds one day and were asked by the hero twins to inspect some trees in which the birds were trapped. The hero twins shot down a few of the birds, but as the monkey twins began making progress in their climbing, the hero twins would stop, and the story of course proceeds. The brothers all return home and inform their mother and grandmother of what had just happened. The mother and grandmother rightfully suspect that it is in fact Shibalanke and Hunaka's doing that the monkey twins were transformed into monkeys as they are well-renowned sorcerers at this point. Shibalanke and his brother do rightfully offer the grandmother some mercy, informing her that upon seeing her sons, should she laugh at their new, interesting appearance, that they would remain monkeys. Hunhanapu and Shibalanke begin playing music and singing, specifically with the intention of making the monkey brothers dance and sing as they enter the house. The grandmother could not help themselves but to laugh. 
prompting Hunbats and his brother to flee into the forest. The grandmother is given three more chances. On the fourth attempt, the monkey twins do not even bother to show up, as they are far too embarrassed with previous failures. The monkey twins were still highly regarded for their skills and abilities, and as such, the hero twins honored them, making them patron saints of singers, florists, and writers, and carvers. But that will do it for this video. Hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a like and tell me what you thought of it in the comment section below. If you want me to cover a specific card next, go ahead and leave a request in the comment section below. Next, I haven't quite decided who, but next up will either be Giannis or Thanatos. So I suppose you'll find out who that will be on Tuesday. Thank you for checking out the video, and until then, I've been Prime, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.